Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually renew a bond with only playing about 6 or 7 minutes a day. And that's going to be using essentially the new farm run. Now not a lot of people are doing this or know about it, but doing birdhouse runs can actually be more profitable per your time invested than farm runs. So I'm going to be showing you the entire process on how to do them. Now to start off you need to go to your house and you need to build something called a clockwork mechanism. Now you need 25 construction, if you don't have that you can actually buy them off the Grand Exchange because all you'll actually need is 4 of them because after every run you're going to get them back. But they're kind of slow to uh, buy on the Grand Exchange so if you don't have them you can just come over here to your clockwork bench and you're just going to hit the 1 button and you need to make 4 of them. I'm going to be making 100 because I'm going to check the loot from 100 and it'll just be easier to keep track of it this way. Once you have the clockwork all you have to do is use the highest level log that you can craft on it to make uh, that level birdhouse. So for me I have uh, 60 hunters so I can make U birdhouses. The higher level birdhouses for one are going to give you more experience. Uh, the U one is going to give me 1k experience per birdhouse so that's 4k per run so it's actually quite a lot. On top of that you're going to get more birds nests and that is the main way that you make money from this method. You're going to be getting for one the birds nests which are worth 3k each anyway. Plus you're going to get the ones with seeds in them so you can get all the way up to magic which is worth 200k or you can get U seeds, maple seeds and some other valuable seeds just from doing this. These can actually be more profitable than farm runs because they actually take about a minute and a half to do so they're like 3 or 4 times quicker than doing a farm run. So anyway, let's get started. So since this all takes place on the fossil island you will need the bone voyage quest to be able to do this method. On top of that we're going to need to unlock a few teleportation methods, it's really easy to do and has no requirements. So to start off here you're going to want to bring uh, some ruby necklaces and on top of that we're going to want to unlock the mushroom teleportation system. Now the only thing you need to do to unlock this is actually just run to each of the teleporter locations. The two that we need for the birdhouse runs is one is in the, I think the pleasant meadows is what it's called. So right here there is the magic tree so all you have to do is just click on that once and it unlocks the teleportation method. So that is the mushroom meadow, sorry that's what it's called. Now we need to unlock two more locations. Now the main important one is the central hub which is kind of up to the northeast. You can kind of see it there. So to get there you kind of have to run through this agility shortcut in the middle which we're doing right now. You just got to climb up the ladder, run over this dark abyss and then we're pretty much all the way there. Now the other main reason for actually running over here is to unlock the extra teleportation option on the dig site pendant. Now we haven't actually enchanted them yet which we'll do in a second here. Once you get over to this area you can unlock the fossil island teleport which is pretty vital for doing the bird runs because it's right beside the mushroom teleportation. So once you get here you need to enchant your ruby necklace which will get a dig site pendant and then you're going to want to use it on the strange machine which will unlock the extra teleportation option. I've already done that so it shouldn't do anything. So at this point now we can teleport right to this exact area and run up to the north and then we can teleport to the other mushroom. Okay so now from here you're probably best off just teleporting back to the dig site teleport because the last place we need to unlock is the verdant valley uh, which is kind of more to the southeast. I'm just going to teleport back because I think it might be a little quicker. Quick travel to fossil island. So now from here the verdant valley is over to the east so we're going to need to run around the corner here and down here and that's the last teleportation method that we're going to need. Once we have all those unlocked we'll be able to do our birdhouse run. So really just have to click on there once because I apparently have to take the longest possible route around to get there. Now I'd recommend if you have a minute to actually just enchant 10 or 20 of the ruby amulets just to get the dig site teleports because you will need them pretty frequently and it's kind of annoying to enchant them every time. Okay there we go guys so we managed to run all the way around you can see actually one of the birdhouses right there. Now we interact with the mycelium transportation system and we've unlocked uh, the teleports that we need. Now if you want you can unlock these other two when you get a minute but you don't actually need those right now. So you can see here we can go between uh, the four locations quite quickly. Now the only two you need are the mushroom meadow and the verdant valley. Alright guys so now that I've showed you how to unlock all the teleports now we're going to do an actual run. So what we're going to need actually for the run is for one the four birdhouses because uh, you can do four at a time as well as a bunch of any type of hop seed. Now if you look on the wiki there's a bunch of different seeds that are classified as hop seeds so you can use any of those as well as a wild blood seed. So here's a list of them here. It's best to just go with whatever one's the cheapest because I don't think it affects anything. Uh, you're also going to need a hammer and a chisel. So from here we're going to teleport to Fossil Island because that's going to bring us right to the central hub. Uh, you're going to run up to the north and interact with the transportation system. First off we're going to go to the Verdant Valley. So just to the right there's going to be a birdhouse. Now I already have one set up so I'm going to be claiming 
uh, the birds and you can say get a bunch of nests and experience. So what you're going to do is uh, if you haven't set it up you just need to click on there with the birdhouse and click on there with the seeds. Now next up is there's another one right in the northeast corner. We're going to dismantle as well. We got more birds nests you can see in 1k experience and we're going to use the birdhouse as well as the seeds. Now from here we're going to run back to the transportation system and transport to the mushroom meadow. Now once you're here, you're going to run a little bit up to the north. There should be another birdhouse here. We're going to claim our birdhouse and get the experience. And then we're going to set up a new one and click on there with the seeds. Now from here, we need to run a little bit to the south. Now one thing worth mentioning is if you only have four of the clockwork mechanisms, it's best to just bring uh, four of whatever log you're going to use on them in advance. And then you can just uh, use the log in it and then use the birdhouse on the place right away instead of having to stock up like I did or <laughs> run back and get the logs. So down here to the south right beside the swamp is the last one and we're going to set up our last birdhouse and that's it. It is quite noticeably quicker than uh, doing farm runs. I'm getting 4k experience every time I do it which is awesome and uh, we're going to time it once I do my last run here but then you just teleport back. Alright guys so I'm checking in two days later and I managed to do all 100 of my new birdhouses in two days. Now that's a little extreme because that is... Uh, like 12 runs a day. I had the time because I was traveling. I was on the bus and in an airport So it really didn't take that long. So in the background, I'm just gonna be timing uh, How long it's gonna take to do one run. I found this nice overlay timer for my phone So I'm pretty stoked. So I was able to do this on mobile every single Hour essentially of my waking day. So I managed to do it in two days However, if you are more normal or just not playing as much you could probably do still like four or five runs a day because they're just so quick I know farm runs don't take that long However, you can really just squeeze this in. Like uh, if you go to the bathroom, you can do a bird's nest run. If you're uh, waiting just for like one extra minute and you have time, you can do it so quickly. So last time it took me a minute and a half and it looks like that might still be the case. Now over the course of the two days, I got over 100k hunter experience too. So I'm up to level 6300. Now just doing the bird house runs are going to get you a ton of hunter levels. Hunter isn't my favorite thing to train either. So this is one of my favorite ways to actually do it now. I'm just going to train hunter just by doing bird house runs. So yeah, after I teleport back, it's going to take about one minute and 30 seconds to do the run. And if I recall correctly, doing a full farm run takes between four and five minutes if I'm even paying attention right. All right, so we finished up all 100 of the bird houses. Now we need to open up all of the bird's nests. Now 113 of them are just regular bird's nests with nothing to open. However, the rest of them are jewelry nests and seed nests. Now where you're gonna be getting most of your money is from the seeds. The jewelry is never worth anything, unfortunately, so we're just gonna deposit that. But luckily we did get 92 of the seed nests. And like I said, that's where all your profit's going to be now. You can get magic seeds, yew seeds, maple seeds, and willow seeds. And then the rest are kind of crap. And you can also get spirit seeds. However, those don't have any value. So they're not going to be taken into account really. Alright, so we opened up all of the jewelry nests. And now we're on to the seed nests. So I'm going to go over some stats while I open these up. So to do 100 of the birdhouses, I needed to do 25 runs. So to do each run, it took me a minute and a half on average. So to do the 25 runs, it took me about 37 minutes and 30 seconds. Now the total in real lifetime was actually only two days. However, I was going extremely hard on doing these as quickly as possible. Okay, so I successfully looted all of the bird's nests. So now we're going to go ahead and check how much money I'm going to get in total. So first off, I got 257 nests in total, which is an average of about well, 2.5 nests per birdhouse so I'm not sure how average that is but that's what I ended up getting from the U birdhouses. Once we put in all the junk items we'll just be left with one magic seed which I did end up getting, a bunch of willow seeds, a U seed? No we didn't get a U seed we got some maple seeds and then the rest was kind of junk. I'd say my loot from the seeds was probably pretty average. We did get the magic seed which is about 1 in 100 I guess we got a little lucky there. We had about 87 birds in that, so it's really not that unlikely. But we didn't get the UC. But in total, we got 1.5 mil in loot. So after taking into account the amount of runs you can do per hour, our effective hourly profit is actually 2.4 mil an hour because it only took me 37 minutes essentially to do this run. So that's about 60k on average per run. So the amount of runs you're going to need to do to actually earn a bond right now is 65 runs. So you're going to need to do about 4 or 5 of those a day to earn a bond since a bond is for 14 days. So if we take into account the amount of time four or five runs is, that's about seven minutes a day that you need to actually be doing these runs for, which is by far better than farm runs. Farm runs, I think I needed to do 
but 13 to 15 minutes a day to earn a bond, and that was a while ago, and that was when bond prices were much lower. So birdhouses do require more check-in, so if you don't actually have the amount of time required, farm runs are going to be equal or maybe better, but if you have the time to check in, well, four or five times a day, they're going to pay off in the long run, and you'll be able to earn a bond by only playing about, well, seven minutes a day. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left the video a like. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.